Hello, everyone out there in History Day land. I'm Kathy Gorn, Executive Director of National History Day, and I'm pleased to announce and officially launch the 2021 National History Day program here. The theme is communication and history, the key to understanding. I'll bet that conjures up all kinds of ideas. But don't forget, no matter what topic you choose, it's not just what happened, it's not just how it happened, but it's what resulted because it happened. This video is going to give you a few ideas just to get your thoughts moving a little bit. So listen up and think. Throughout history, people have communicated to exchange ideas and information. Major inventions like the telephone, telegraph, and television quickly come to mind, but communication is so much more than that. After his election in 1933, President Franklin Roosevelt inherited a nation in the grip of the Great Depression, with high rates of unemployment and runs on banks. He responded with his fireside chats, radio addresses where he spoke directly to the American people. What was the impact of these chats? How did the American people react to them? Did the fireside chats change how future presidents communicated? How and why? Newspapers are often a key part of historical research. There are many ways in which newspapers have had an impact in history. How were newspapers used to influence politics, debates, and opinions? As we prepare for the 250th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence in 2026, we can explore newspapers to trace the nation's debates, challenges, and celebrations. How do newspapers preserve a record of American public debate? To learn more, check out the Chronicling America database. This collection of digitized newspapers from across the nation was created through a partnership between the Library of Congress and the National Endowment for the Humanities and is accessible at chroniclingamerica.loc.gov. Much of history is preserved in the written records of those who came before us. Their letters, diaries, and records give us insight into the past. When the U.S. Postal Service was formed, it provided a way for Americans to communicate across the nation. But who created the Postal Service and why? How has it impacted social, political, and economic life? The Library of Congress's article in the theme book includes links to the digitized papers of Alexander Graham Bell, most famous for his work on the telephone but students may be surprised to learn about his interest in scientific and aeronautical research, as well as his interest in educational opportunities for students with hearing impairments. How did Bell's correspondence with other inventors, like Giulielmo Marconi and the Wright brothers, influence their inventions? Find a topic that examines the impact of the telephone on an event in history. Since the 1800s, World's fairs have highlighted the many achievements of nations. The exhibitions often showcase popular culture, trade, science, and technology. How did nations use world expositions or world's fairs to communicate their progress and achievements to the rest of the world? Did world's fairs reveal flaws of a nation? Did they create rivalries or divides between nations? Other students might look to protests where individuals gathered to challenge unsafe working conditions or restrictive voting laws. Protests are a form of democratic communication which help the voice of the people be heard. How did protests influence change in the women's suffrage movement, the environmental movement, or the civil rights movement? Sometimes communication is cultural exchange. Students might explore the early diplomatic relationship between the United States and Japan. The voyage of Commodore Matthew Perry is important, but so is the delegation of Japanese diplomats who returned to Washington, D.C. in 1860 to meet with President James Buchanan and formalize diplomatic relations between the two nations. What impact did it have? In the wake of the U.S. Civil War, newly freed African Americans used federal agencies like the Southern Claims Commission and the Freedmen's Bureau to communicate with the federal government. 
How can the records of these claims provide insight into the challenges faced by these men and women? How did they try to communicate with the government to ensure their rights? Communication is at the heart of the political process. Leaders, legislatures, and courts communicate with their people to maintain their power and explain their laws and decisions. In democratic nations, leaders debate to be elected by the people or their representatives and hold power. How did new inventions like the radio or the television play a role? What other ways have political parties communicated with the public? What was their impact? There are more than 5,000 languages spoken around the world today. They help us to express ourselves, but not all languages are spoken. How has American Sign Language contributed to both cultural and linguistic diversity? Students might also think about restrictions placed on language. The native Hawaiian language faced heavy restrictions following the overthrow of Queen Liliuokalani in 1893. How does the suppression of language impact a group of people? How did these restrictions change the nature of communication across the Hawaiian islands? What happens when there is a resurgence of the language and a push to learn the language again? History shows us the dangers of lack of communication, miscommunication, and misunderstanding but they too can provide key moments for historical study. Consider the explosion aboard the USS Maine in Havana Harbor in 1898 and the ways in which it led to the Spanish-American War. How did newspapers play a role? It is often challenging to communicate in times of conflict, but history shows us the importance of this communication. It is imperative that communication be received and understood. While we do not always agree with what we hear, it is important that we have the skills to understand the perspective and points of view expressed in the past. Well, I hope we got your thoughts moving around a little bit. You've just taken the first step for completing a 2021 NHD project. Check out our website at www.nhd.org. You can find our brand new theme book there and you can download it. Or if you're like me and you'd rather have the goods in your hands, you can order one online through the NHD shop. I can't wait to see what great topics you choose and the way you present your information. For now, good luck and happy researching.